I think there were rumors that I actually said that Islam allows homosexual acts and that's not true. I did not say that and I'm just clarifying that Islam does not allow homosexual acts. Just like Islam does not allow you to commit adultery. Just like Islam does not allow you to touch the opposite sex who's not a mahram. Just like uh, Islam does not allow uh, so many things, the consumption of alcohol or the consumption or the taking of intoxicants and so on, the eating of usury and interest. Islam doesn't allow these things. I would have no right or justification to say that Islam allows all of that. I think what people misunderstood is when I was speaking about the secular rights of people. So I live as a Muslim in a country that is not a Muslim country. And in this country, there are people who follow all sorts of faiths. There are people who engage in association of what I would term as partnership with Allah. Are they free to live in this country? The answer is yes. And uh, I would respect their rights as a citizen of this country, even though I, I have the right to disagree with them, and I do. But it has to be very respectful. It doesn't mean I've compromised my faith. It doesn't mean I've agreed to something that Islam disallows or the Quran clearly says that this is disallowed. Uh, but it does mean that if someone has chosen a different religion or a different uh, belief or even a different sect from among the Muslims, then the minimum I owe them is the respect of a human being with disagreement. And some people don't understand what that means. I think it's a very mature statement and it actually goes to reflect that we are tolerant and uh, that's how it is. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy. I thought it's a good clarification to make.